And for Enigma Galaxy, we got Kuroki on the Techies, Ghost on the center of World Runner offlane, RMN Marcy, Luna Miracle on the safe lane, and Sumail OD mid. All right, up top. Marcy gonna go forward here, RMN giving a little bit of a poke to slow. Nice blood grenade on top, Miracle trying to get in a little bit closer. Kachal, Kachal. He won't even be the first blood. It'll be downtown, actually, elsewhere. Kuroki going to be first blood. Kachal, then RMN, and then finally they get this juggernaut on the far side of things. It's just an absolute bloodbath in both lanes at the same time. He's going to get beat up just a little bit here. The harassment, though. He kill his courier, Kachal. He'll pay for that with a skewer, he says. RMN pulling him uh, get pulled right back in. Nice stun from GZ. That'll be another kill on this lane. Oh, the missile magic missile ghost. He's trying to get away. One more hit. He's in the trees. It's not going to help him. He's going to go down. Marcy back in just a little, little tick. Oh, they're going to dive him under the tower, Jeeves. Oh, yes. The stun is there. And Miracle tries to get a little bit of lucid beam action. Maybe he can get Jeezy, but... No, it's not to be easy. Kachal no, and Jeezy gonna make sure they bring Aluna down another time. That's his first death, actually, the OD in the early game. All right, Miracle getting a solid under his tower one more time. The skewer forward. Oh, wow, the slapping. And it do be happening. Enigma down a second time. Maybe they can find RMN here. I doubt it, though. Surely not. All three of them smoke. They go for the reach around here. Centaur, he goes for the stampede. All right, they'll get the juggernaut and the counter pressure. Here it comes. They want to try and punish M Mikey. Changes his mind. They go back. Sumail showing on the lane. Maybe you think they can get a bigger kill here. Uh, they will go for the swashbuckle. Not going to connect. The silence does land. Sumail a little bit confused as to what's happening here. Finally takes down the ghosty. But the rotation in. There's rolling thunder. It's caught in the pandemonium. Nice RP from uh, Mr. Magnus. Gets all three of them in the end because of the jump in from RMN. Our men soul bound up, and that's going to be four down for Nigma, and only the loss of the Grimstroke. Well, he decides to start with the alt, and then he'll drop off a little bit of uh, the bubble. Magnus tries to get swapped out, not going to happen. They'll take Stoic in return. This magic missile doing so much work off the back of the soul bind. Stoic still falls. They run down Jeezy as well. Wait, he's in prison for a few seconds. He's dead, I'm sure. There you go. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Settle down. Calm down. I know there's a lot of you. It's your first time out in public, but try and be a little bit more, you know, have a little bit more decorum. Mikey, what's he find here? Nothing. As the center of Warrunner are going to blink to safety. The follow up is quickly there, though. They grab a hold of him with a skewer. Push him back. Alright, Kuro actually has the mechanism finished up. Hello, never mind. They're just gonna jump in there, go for the blink skewer. RP on the tackies! Holy moly, they want Kuro's blood bad! They're slicing it and the dicing it, and that juggernaut's gonna take that one home. Top and mid still gonna be standing. I, they are not able to contest. Are they looking for a smoke situation, maybe? Come back in through the outside line here? No. Juggernaut going to TP out. They are, I mean, they see the Juggernaut leaving. They're thinking maybe now there's a way to make a counter play here. Kachal going to be on the cusp of things. Mikey's already got the Rolling Thunder. Kachal with a beautiful RP finding two. It's Sumail plus, uh, plus Ghost. Ghost tries to turn around. Almost gets the Juggernaut. Almost breaks that Aegis for the first life. But they are melting left, right, and center. Luna, uh, he takes one look at this team fight. And he's like, nah, I'm probably going to go back to retirement. And already... Ghost, he's looking for a way in here. I mean, if he can find one of the squishy bros, I mean, even there, you saw he was able to deal with the juggernaut to an extent. He goes on to the vengeful spirit with a quick glimmer cape, stops that juggernaut with a counter play. They're gonna chase forward here. Mikey gets a little bit of a tickle from the side with a swashbuckle. And I, why is it, why, why does it not follow the juggernaut when it's on the juggernaut? It keeps wanting to go back over onto this guy. What? Even, how does this even work? I don't know. They get a little jump up on to Kuroki this time. Now 20 and 9, they're on that back line. Mikey rolling in there. Marcy getting handled. A little bubble trouble, a little save by Sumail. 
Mikey he tries to follow up on it, but doesn't quite get there in the blink dagger. Oh, Alright, the smoke up. They go looking. They go fishing for some action right now. Oh, man. <laughs> well, the Kuro detection system is working. They're aware that Mikey's in the general, you know, the general area. We don't know it's Mikey as such, for sure. Alright, they go for it. They get a hold of Ghost here. Nice imprisonment, but the RP gonna be used on Sumail. The Soulbind coming through now. Sumail still in a bit of a pickle here. Ghost on that back line trying to deal with Jeezy. Sumail backs up. Luna doing some serious work there, but the imprisonment on the Juggernaut. He pops off his ult. Goes in, spins for the win, and Miracle will win that fight. Juggernaut's toast. They try and fall back. Ghost, he rushes forward, tries to get a secondary pick off here. Can they find anything? The answer is no, but a huge defense from Nigma there. And, I mean, it's le it's 30 minutes into the game. I mean, while you're at it, Kang, you should... Uh... Okay, there's no 30 minute time. Well, all right, never mind. Okay, Chao grabs a hold of Miracle, forcing him in under the tire here. Mikey stops on a penny, rolls it back in. The Soulbind doing so much work again. All right, man, tries to come in here, but it's actually not that helpful. A little bit of bombinage, a little bit of stunningage. Miracle, he pops off the, the Mask of Madness only, tries to fight his way back through this. Kachal gets another grab, pulls him back in under the tier fours one more time. But the save is there from uh, Sumail. Keeping his core alive for a little while longer. Miracle finally does fall. The counter play now is to go looking for Ghost to swap back in. Ghost to fall. He's down for 53 seconds. 80 seconds. No Miracle. And already the punishment here. The uh, tier three top. Sumail looking for a way in here. They have the Aegis though, it's difficult to try and make a go of things. And then you've got the RP protection and the swap as well on top. There we go, they go for it. Ghost, he's just going to get caught here, steered away, controlled. Uh, he's still alive for a little bit longer, but they finally do bring him down. Now the Juggernaut tries to come forward, immediately gets slapped by Miracle and Sumail. The hammer getting dropped, first life taken. And the patience right now for Winter Bear. Not sure whether they should be pushing their advantage or not without this Aegis, but they're going to give it a go. I don't know why it does that, but it's good for the win. They get hold of Sumail. The silence is in as well. He's got no alt. The RP, the follow-up, the kitchen sink, the swap out. Sumail's already down for 64 seconds with the follow-out, and they just smash through this line. The only one still standing is a Miracle. The Rock on the high ground here with the Satanic propped off, but they'll catch him now. They'll slap him down. It's our triple kill for Juggernaut. They'll take Kuro out of the base there as well and all of Nygma are down and a GG soon on the cards for this game one. Winter Bears turning up and making a statement that's for sure. Alright the GG's called. They throw up them hands. Game one in the bag for Winter Bear. Uh, maybe a little bit of a drafting situation going into game two here. I never play this fishy hero, Bloodseeker all the way. I remember when Bloodseeker used to be a pretty hard counter to Slark, but it just doesn't feel the same. Oh, Arc Warden! He gets toasted, he gets roasted, he actually takes Kuro on the back line before he falls though. He will get first blood, 344 gold. Going to the Arc Warden, he gets taken out eventually by Ghost. That useful here. Oh, the seating chains on stoic though the flame guard Bernie 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 Sumail looking for a solo here hello Jeezy arriving along with Mikey Sumail can he find the kill he does get stoic he's still running though Pang Lear with the rolling thunder the blast not gonna connect Sumail eats one right click Kuro go any help for your bro here no Mikey comes back the other way finishes him off the whole squad is coming in down here having a little look see Ah, oh, yeah, they're gonna get him for sure. Here we go. Ghost is like, oh, hello there. Hello, friend. Pops the doom off. The TP's coming across Pugna. Gonna try and save his bro. Is it working? I don't know. The sucking, the doom ticking down. Miracle's here to collect. He gets that kill. Now they go down. Back looking for Jeezy here. He's keeping himself fresh for a little while longer. That's gonna be two permanent RG stacks. Only one permanent RG. He didn't even get hit on. I mean, he has a remnant. He'll be fine. Talking about things that are fine or not fine. Mikey doomed up. The Infernal Blade is there. The chase forward. He gets away with the cookie play though. Now Ember. Oh, he actually gets over the Searing Chains. Nice. Now they go looking for Most Wanted Dog. Or most Dog Wanted. 
Enigma. They're having literally no problems at all. Mariko with a leap forward here. Sumail with a rotation and seating chains on top. It's a double kill for Sumail. Hello, the mid lane. They're going to go for it here. Sumail, Mikey, he's kind of trapped in amongst this. The rolling thunder gets off. The bomb's getting dropped. They lose Grani. Now Sumail completely controlled for half an hour. They just murdered him. Oh my word! I mean, it felt like he like they had the upper hand. I mean, they lose literally used literally every ability that they could get on there, but it was worthwhile. They get the phoenix, they get this Kuro phoenix, they get the Sumail. Oh. Okay, okay, they get a hold of Jeezy here. The seating chains are pretty good. Goes back and up, but they'll bring forward the kill for Sumail. Downtown Miracle trying to find some action of his own, but he's in here a little bit on his own. Miracle's still hunting. They can't quite find it though. They're coming through. Oh, they're getting ready for the jump on Jeezy. Infernal Blade is there. Jeezy trying to get away. Miracle's on that back line already though. Trying to get a little pirate's action. Not happening, Mickey. But Mikey with the rolling thunder. But Miracle, he's in a bit of a pickle, but the save's there. Sumail diving through that back line. The seating chains actually catching him up, but Mikey rolling around. Easy peasy, he says. Double damage up on Sumail. It's Amplify damage now. It sure is. They've got something on the back line, though. There go. They get a hold of Stoic. Most dog dog up on the high ground. And, and there goes the Sumail. Out of there again. Wait, what the heck is going on now? Now we lost the other one, did we? No. There we go. Can he pounce forward here? The vision game so strong. They get a good jump onto RMN. RMN getting handled. BKB quick guy. And the doom from Ghost as he goes looking for a kill here onto Magnus. Up to the high ground. They're going to go in. They're going to follow up. They're going to bring him down. It's a double kill for Miracle through this process. Now they go looking for Stoic as well. Can they make it a triple? The pounce is there. Stopping him from going anywhere. The heal from Pugna. Keeping Stoic alive for now. Not sure it's going to be enough though. The egg dropped off on the back line. Stoic goes down. It's a triple kill for Miracle. And now they fall back and look at this tier 2 tower. Wait. We wave. Not here just yet. They've got 8 permanent agility. 20 essence shifts stolen on Miracle with 60 algae in the pipe. He is a monster. And Mikey already keeping out. Jeezy sticking around a little bit longer. Ghost going to come through the portal and get a hold of him here. And he's toast. Infernal Blade gets the job done. Joking, I apply the pressure on the top lane. But this Arc Warden, by the way, is still top of the bus for net worth. 22k ahead of Sumail on the Amber Spirit. All right, the Hex up on Kuroki. It's going to give them some initiation options for sure. I mean, they're just they're just kind of playing the you know roping the old dope here, waiting for the Aegis to uh, to respawn. Two minutes fourteen seconds, and one of bears just just turtling up on the base, holding it strong for now. Okay, the initiation on the back line. What have they got themselves? The Magnus could be pretty good. Got that Doom ready to go, but Kachal, quick usage, tried to pop off the RP, didn't quite happen, the BKB on Ghost, Doom's out now, Kachal forced back, Pangolier rolling around, easy peasy, they take Stoic as well in the process, and that's probably going to be that, right. probably going to be that. Still holding. They still have two buyback sheets. I don't know if they want to throw the tile on just yet. It just feels a little bit like it's going beyond them now. They smoke around this outside, trying to get a hold of the Arc Warden, maybe? I don't know. The Pangolier and Mikey, that's a pretty good pick. There's that uh, Kuroki Hex getting used immediately. Now they go back off the other side, eh, trying to break it up. Mar Miracle. What can he find here? Nothing much. They lose Kuroki's Phoenix. Now Miracle being controlled left, right and centre. They pull him back in. The TP across and they have to chase away. And there's no Aegis. So like I say, they probably were supposed to wait a minute or so. Alright, they're smoked up. They're having a little look. Enigma Galaxy on the hunt. On the prowl. And they find a game ending pick off here. I mean, they still have plenty of buybacks available. No, they don't actually. They're, this is a really awkward time. When they're bears, with their, you know, caught with their, their net worth down a little bit here. 
Okay, Amber, jump forward. They go in for Jeezy here. Jeezy, he's toast, but he does have a buyback. One of the few that's available. Go looking for more. Go looking for the tier two, tier three in the mid lane. They got the Chen army, the Pendant squad are in there. Beat down. And Mikey, Shiva's guard. He's got the Rolling Thunder. He's, becoming, he's just curling up, actually. Okay, the RP connecting on Sumail. There's a silence on top. He's taking literally no damage. Miracle with a beautiful depth strike, keeping his mid alive. And all of the damage coming through here. Nice RMN, Hand of God, to heal them up. And they'll fall back. The whole time the Chen army's been beating down on the Mega Rex. Good times to get Sumail one more time. But he's still too tanky for them. Seeing Chain Slight of Fist. Ghost is in here, slapping, hopping, left, right, and center. Enigma, they're gonna take this easy peasy. They're all down. It's an ultra kill for Miracle. The GG's come out. And game two secured by Enigma. Game three, gonna be a crowd pleaser for sure. And actually, Juggernaut, not bad versus Darks here. The spin. Sort of a win versus the Ion Shell situation. He's tossing him on a healing ward. He's going to be just happy enough about that. Slark. Oh, it's slapping and it's happening. Ghost, he brings it home. Ah, uh, full bracer finished up on the Magnus. Slark, he has the Wraith Band finished. 27, 27 and 12 on, this, on the Wind Ranger mid, by the way. Where even is 18 and 2? I thought this lane was supposed to be even. Oh. They're having a go here on Ghost. They pull them back in with the Gaze. The old man Gaze doing a lot of work here. The Frost Shield. And they'll run it home. Kachal falling on the other side though. Yeah, an even trade. Wait, RMN gonna go down. Jeezy finds a second. And now Miracle, he's trying to clean up on Jeezy here. The TPZ. Too easy for Jeezy, he's out of there. Really a factor though, Kuro getting handled by Jeezy right now. The focus fire, the tanky boy though. Uh, I mean, Sumail, it's taken him a long time to take this guy down. Finally gets the job done with Miracle turning up, ending a four times dominating kill streak. Solar Bind is out of Miracle to slow him up. And does he just not have the Javelin? Ah, no Javelin on Sumail. So can they find. I mean, it's a wide net they're casting. I don't think he can get away from this one. They'll spot him out finally. There you go. They unleash the full fury, the full force. And the Chain Frost as well to make sure the, car, the the army goes down. And RMN gonna be doing nothing for the next 24 seconds. Yo, maybe they can make a counterplay. They know that the Chain Frost is down. Alright, they're weighing here in behind the tower. Kuroki the bait. They have got Miracle up on the high ground. They're aware of the Avalanche Toss combo. Not quite gonna connect. They get a hold of Ghost, send him forward. Skewer back the other way. Chain Frost gonna go off. Nice Omni Slash from Miracle gets the job done. They got a beautiful wall down here on two, but Sumail, he's got all the control in the world. He's in behind the wall. The Avalanche to try and stop things up. But on the cusp of things, they're aware somehow. Going looking, going fishing deep for Miracle here. He's going to show on the lane. They're very much aware. Closing in. Can't quite make it happen though. Awkward. The power shot for some information. They see Stoic, but there's way more bodies up here. Ghost, he tries to come through. They pick off Stoic here. They snatch and grab. Wait, they drop the wall. A little bit awkward as they try and back things up. Sumail getting slowed by Tiny on the way out. And, uh, Slark, what is he doing? He's just going down here to get a little bit of farm. All the space is being created. They're all here. It's coming up for the 20 minute mark and they're looking for Roche top. They only have 30 seconds to get this job done. It should be enough though, right? 20 seconds, Roche is at 75%. Ah, they can do it. Whole squad is here. And they did it easily with eight seconds to spare. Huge. Okay, the big smoke up, the response. Winter Bears awares that this is what was happening. They want to see if they can find an angle to get on, on Sumail, perhaps. Avalanche toss to set things up. The shocker shot comes through. Sumail getting gazed back in. Chain Frost running its course. Sumail still alive. Gets hit a third time by the Chain Frost. Goes down. He has no Aegis. It's on Miracle. Nice. Miracle trying to turn back in for this. Those Slark backing it up. Backing it up. Wait. RMN. Where, where the heck is uh, Ghost? He's RMN. Ghost has there's the Orc in play. Slowing up the Magnus. They find the they're looking for the angle. 
doesn't need it. He goes for there in the end, takes the kill down, finds Ghost Now Miracle trying to TPI, and it's a complete disaster for Enigma, as they'll bring down Kuro as well. They trade four for one. Trade the tier two barely scuffed though, and the tier three starting to feel the wrath of Miracle's blade. Right, they'll bring some TPs, the fortification. They bring them in one by one. Miracle still standing here though. They've got the chain frost in position. They've got the wall in position. Can they actually make a play off of this? Is Mikey ready to blast these creeps down? It's working, but Miracle still standing firm. Can't take out his healing ward without getting a little bit closer. The tier 3 tower. Now the Chen army committing for this. They'll take it down. Looking for the melee rush. Backing it up, backing it up. Ghost ready with the RP connection. He goes in, he brings in two. But a beautiful play from Slark. Oh my word, the Depth Shroud doing so much work. They get this nice wall, nice, nice wall down. Miracle trying to make the play. Old Chen army slowed up. Ghost having to try and fall back on the side of things. The pounce forward. The Slark, he reads the situation. Almost managed to find him straight up with the pounce. Not quite there, but the follow up is, and the gaze on top. Goodbye, Ghost. The rest of Enigma having to fall back. Sunil getting handled here just a little bit in the mid lane. He is so slow off the back of the Solar Bind. The rest of the squad trying to catch up on the side of Winter Bears. Maybe they could lock down Sumail. I mean, that's the dream. He's too far away, though, surely. Did Slark go for the Ags? By the way, he did. He's going to find RMN on the side. Nom, nom, nom. Another plus one permanent Aji. He's got 75 Aji right now. The child with the full Guardian Greaves and the Shiva's Guard. They're smoked up. They're on the, they're on the prowl. Let's see what they can find here. I mean, who even would they find? I guess the pings are coming out on Kuro. All right, the avalanche is there. I don't really like the karma. It's fine though, don't worry about it. Bringing it back in the other way. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. He's still alive. He's invis. Jeeves, he sure is going a little bit deeper here. to get themselves the Magnus with the pounce. There's another pounce available. He's going to get himself up to the high ground though. The follow-up is there. The BKB turning around. Now the Omni Slash. Uh, Mr. Miracle's in going hard. Hum. He manages to get down one. The Dark's here on the back line. Slark is getting a little bit harm himself here. He goes in super deep. Kuro actually went down, but I think he already was dead. He sure was. And uh, Slark didn't get much at all. But who's it? Slark? Okay. Hooked up. Looking for a play here. Goes with the RP. That's a play. Yep. Nice. Nice camera. Nice wall, actually. The Albany Slash doing some work this time. Kuroki still going to get completely handled, though. They go for the Chen next. Unleashing the Fury. Little pounce away the other way. Keeping things alive for a little while longer. They lose Kuro again. The wall is on cooldown. And Ghost trying to get himself to safety. He goes in for the Ogre Seal Totem plus Skewer combo to try and get out of this danger zone. Sumail turning back, looking for an angle here. The Avalanche from Tiny. But overall, no more casualties. A 510, okay, pretty far off. Miracle's in, he's trying to make this happen. He's beating down, it's sort of working. The pounce, the pull back in with the back though. On the wall, Miracle down for 80 seconds. Ghost, he goes for a little RP action. Gets a hold of Tiny, gets a hold of Slark. Nice, two mail. With the full Slark doing some decent work here, but Slark gonna munch his way through. Double up the Magnus, nice blinding light. Knocks two mail back in, it's a double kill for Slark. Uh, the base is going to be very problematically in shambles now. 60 seconds, no Sumail. 50 seconds, no Miracle. Miracle with no buyback. And Slark, he says, no, let's stick around here. The fortification coming through. Looking for maybe plus one kill. Easy peasy. They find it. So he's going to go deep. Oh, the Slark. They find RMN. They've got buybacks available on Sumail and on Hoodwink, but they're going to save them for now. Oh, no. They want the buy box. They're like, okay, you don't gonna use your buy box. We'll force them out. They go for the tier four towers, pulling them back into the fight. 24 seconds for Miracle. Slark will not be stopped though. He doesn't care, Jeeves. He's got 200 stolen Aji, as well as 14 permanent. Uh, he's just the machine right now. Can you even do right click damage to him? How much armor is that? Just a casual 58 armor? No problem, he says. No problem. And he's on the Ancient here, Ghost tries to intercept on this, but Slark eventually having to fall back. Those uh, Aji stacks starting to fall off a little bit. And I don't know, I don't know. You take the two tier fours, you do significant damage to the Ancient, but you could have had a set of racks. And oh, I love the positioning here right now. They're aware they're coming, so they just leave Slark in here by himself. 
Power shot reveals Slark. Got to be careful. Jeezy on the low ground. Jeezy with the counter play comes through. The Gale Force. The Vak Wall on four. Slark goes in, gets the Abyssal off. Ghost going to get handled before he can do any RP like action at all. Slark up to the high ground. Goes looking for Kuro next. Everyone else has bailed from the situation. Or they're running for their lives. At least Avalanche catches RMN. They turn around. Slark ready with a pounce on top. And Raw Shield. He's going literally nowhere. Miracle and Sumail, the sole survivors. And there's no buybacks here. And maybe you go back for the Aegis, but I don't know about that. They've got some time to work with here. Slark showing in the lane. Miracle, maybe he's looking for this. The Omni Slash. Jeezy ready to sacrifice himself for his core. But guess what? Slark ready with a depth charge. They turn it around. The Abyssal Blade coming through. Nice Sumail with another shot for shot. I don't know how that latch, but it did. Miracle dying for 80 seconds. Sumail to fall now as well. Winter Bears are doing it, by the way. They're all down. 15 seconds for Chen. He's the solo defender for this high ground push. What can they get out of this? 20 seconds for Magnus. Okay, okay, okay. They're gonna settle for some rocks instead. Feels okay, man. Still 35 seconds. No miracle. 57 seconds. No Sumail. Can they hold them off here at all? Tiny with the zoning play gets skewered into the fountain. I don't know about how zoned it is. Is the ancient getting ready to fall? The buyback. It's there from the uh, from the uh, yeah. It's too late though. The GG's out and uh, Slark will bring this down. And Winter Bear will go through into the upper bracket final. Enigma Galaxy are going to have to battle it out in the lower bracket. My word.